I'm Stephen Archer, the president of Archer Air Guns. Many people have found our scope sighting video useful, so let's see how to mount a scope on an air rifle. And yes, I know this video should have come first. Today's video shows how to choose and mount the right scope for your air rifle. Most air rifles have rails machined into their breech for mounting a scope. To these rails, you attach either a pair of scope rings or a one-piece mount. The mount gives a stronger result, but it's less flexible than the separate rings we'll use in this video. Air gun rails are nominally 3 8 inch apart. Make sure your rings fit them. Weaver rings will not fit most air rifles. And buy rings that match the diameter of the scope tube. Most scopes are either 1 inch or 30 millimeters in diameter. And if you have a scope with a 40 millimeter or greater objective lens, you will normally need high rings to avoid the scope contacting the barrel. Also choose a suitable scope. Make sure that it's air gun rated. If it's not, it will be broken by the recoil of a spring air rifle. And some air rifles may need a short scope, like the Leaper's Bug Buster, to avoid blocking access for loading on this QB36-1. For air gun use, the scope should also have AO, an adjustable objective that allows sharp focusing to as close as 10 feet. When mounting the scope, it helps to work on the rifle rest or other firm support that holds the gun upright. First, lightly clamp the rings to the rails in what looks like a good position. If you have a spring air rifle like this QB36-2, the rear ring should push against the scope stop. Other spring air rifles have a hole in the breech that is used to locate a stop screw that you will find in the bottom of one of the rings. Both are methods for preventing the fierce recoil of these guns from shaking the scope back right off the gun. Now remove the top clamping pieces and lay the scope onto the lower parts of the rings. Make sure that the scope's elevation turret is to the top. Then lightly reassemble the clamping pieces, but only tighten the screws lightly. Next, position yourself against the gun in the way you will shoot it and look through the scope. Keep your head in the same place and move the scope carefully forward or back until you see the best view. You may need to adjust the position of the rings to achieve the best result. This is the correct view through the scope. If you see this, your eye is too close to the scope. And if you see this, your eye is too far away from the scope. Now that we have the scope set with the correct eye relief, we need to ensure that the scope is horizontal about its axis. If your air rifle has a convenient flat surface, it's possible to use a bubble level to set the rifle horizontal. Then, if the scope has a flat top to the elevation turret, you can rest the level on that and carefully rotate the scope horizontal. But usually, I find that there's no flat surface on top of the rifle and just align the scope by eye. Finally, tighten the screws clamping the rings around the scope. Do this carefully, tightening one screw and then its opposite, torquing them down as evenly as possible. The intention is to clamp the scope securely, not to twist or stress it. So that's it. Now you can sight in your mounted scope. You can find out more about air gun scopes and rings at archerairguns.com. Have fun, but shoot safe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.